Hello! I am so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Guys, today I am making something I've made on my channel before, but it is a recipe that I have that's always requested by other people. So today I have some people coming over. My nephew's coming here with his wife and she's pregnant and she asked me to make her some fish cakes, guys fish cakes so I am making my specialty fish cakes because everybody likes my fish cake and I'm gonna show you again how I did how I do these fish cake cuz that was an old video that I had over there okay so first thing I have here and this is what I always put in my fish cakes guys so I have over here of course you can't have fish cakes without fish so this is salted codfish is already being boiled and the salt is already out of it okay salted codfish you have to get the salt out of it I have here some dry thyme that I'm going to be using I have a pepper I have a bunch of scallions I have an onion and I have two potatoes okay I put potatoes in my um, fish cakes and you know, I was talking to my sister and she was saying like, Gran used to put potatoes in her fish case and we're like, you know something, that's where I probably got it from. I forgot all about that. But I always put potatoes in my fish cake. So I'm going to go ahead and peel these potatoes, cut them up small, put them on to boil, and then I'm going to start putting this together and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Hey guys, just look at this. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get an onion. This is one bowl onion here. And you're gonna cut your onion up and you're gonna cut them up as small as possible okay you want it to be small we don't want big chunks of onion in there so I will cut this up small and then once I cut this up small then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna do the same thing to my scallions okay so I'll be back as soon as I'm done cutting chopping this up now we're ready to assemble our fish cake. So let me show you what I have here. I have my fish here and it's all in pieces. You just chip it up and make it small pieces like that, okay? I have my bunch of scallions here that's chopped up. I have, this is a whole onion I have. I have a small piece of pepper. This is habanero pepper. But the lady that's coming here is pregnant and I don't know how much pepper she can handle so we do not want to put a lot of pepper just in case you know she can't handle the pepper and I have some fresh thyme here no this is some dry thyme that's not fresh thyme and I have my potato okay I cut, cut my potato small so now what I'll do is I'll mash this like how you do mashed potatoes you're gonna mash your potatoes because you don't really don't want chunks of potatoes in there so I'm gonna mash this up and then what I'm gonna do is just combine everything together okay once I mash this up I combine guys this is Barbados favorite thing I'm telling you one thing this recipe right here is a recipe that every time I'm getting together with family members they always want me to bring it so last week for July 4th my brother-in-law asked me to bring some he's leaving for New York so he wanted to be able to take some to New York with him so I was frying them up for him I was over there frying them up so as fast as it came out of the pan hands were in them and they disappeared so he didn't get to take them to New York so I'm gonna make him some more and my nephew just came from Atlanta and his wife is gonna have a baby so of course I have to make her fish cake she, she requested those so I don't have a choice right I have to make those so first we put our potatoes then we can dump our fish in here we just know we're just dumping everything in. We have our scallions all. We just dump our scallions in here. And we're going to dump our onions in. And as I said, she's pregnant. I don't know how much pepper she can use. So we're just putting a little bit of pepper just to give it a little bit of kick. But that shouldn't be too much pepper for her. We don't want her to give her heartburn or anything with that baby, okay? Now I have my fresh, my dry thyme over here. And I'm going to take some of my thyme and just pull it off the stem like this, okay? And drop it in there. We don't want to put the stem in there. So we're just going to do that. 
okay so once we have done all of that and take the stem off now you're gonna mix this up so this is what everything looks like in here so you're gonna mix it all up together oh I was saying and if you don't make it fish cakes make sure you taste your fish once you boil it or soak it to make sure that there's no more salt inside of it okay because sometimes you still have a little bit of salt and it end up being too salty okay guys so that's what it looks like so now we're gonna season this so let me get this stuff out of your way you should make a big mess but that's okay I clean my mess so now we're gonna season so I have a little garlic powder here so I'm gonna put a little garlic powder in there I have some black pepper here now I am not measuring this because everybody make a different amount and um, you season to your liking okay so you don't have, just put a little bit and if you feel you need more just add some more we're gonna add a little black pepper to that and I have a little salt here and I believe that I'm gonna need to add a little bit of salt because I boiled a lot of salt with the fish but I'm not gonna add too much and then I'll taste it as I go along to make sure okay so now I'm gonna add some water to this while I am working on this I'm gonna put my oil on so that the oil can start to heat up because you want your oil to be nice and hot before you drop your fish cakes so I'm gonna put my pan on to heat up and I have my oil here which I'm gonna to add to that you need a lot of oil in your pan guys When you're making fish cakes, you need a lot of oil, okay? So it, they're not flat, so they can um, have a little body to it. So now I'm gonna add some water to this. And I added some water to this, and this is gonna be based on the amount of fish and so on that you have in here, okay? You don't wanna add too much water now after that will come our flour i cannot measure the flour guys because i can't tell you exactly how much is going to go and this is based on how much you're doing so let's sieve some flour in there and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stir that up Mix that in well. And of course you see that that is liquidy so that's not going to do. So you definitely need more flour in there. So I just pour some flour in and I'm just looking for the texture. So I'm going to show you the texture so that you know what to look for when you're making fish cakes you sieve you go along and at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder to give it a little rise and baking powder is going to be based on how much you have in so let's just go ahead and stir this up we're looking for texture here guys looking good but we still need more flour and at this point here I'm gonna taste it and I'm going to add a couple more things to this but now I'm gonna put some sugar so you see how much sugar I have in my hand I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sugar in there you don't want to put too much sugar because you don't want it to taste sweet you don't want to taste a, a sweet taste from that so you're not gonna put a lot of sugar in there okay and you're gonna mix that in now everything in here is okay to taste and I'm gonna taste it and see if I need to add salt to it okay if I need to add anything to it okay. One thing I forgot to add to guys is some seasoned salt or purpose seasoning. 
to help flavor it up. So you won't add salt unless, because all that stuff has salt inside of it. So you have to taste it first and make sure it is to your tasting before you add any salt or anything else to it, okay? See how it's starting to look, the texture of that, guys? But you still need more flour in there because that's still too soft, okay? So I'm gonna taste it just to see if I need to add anything to it. Definitely need some salt. Definitely need some salt. But I sprinkle a little bit. So you don't have to sprinkle. You can just put a little bit in your hand and just put a little bit over there because I don't want you to end up sprinkling too much. Now I'm going to taste it again. Can I put that finger? Got to use the other finger. Still need a little more. Still need a little more seasoning. Let me wash my hands first. Okay. I'm going to add a little more salt. I'm going to sprinkle a little more salt. It looks like a lot, but it's not a lot going in there. Okay. Not a test test, guys. Still need something. Still not quite up to par. Salt, some more everything. Add some more seasoned salt. Are you allergic to anything? No. no. Nothing you're putting in there now. Okay, some more salt. Okay. We're gonna put some more flour now just to get the texture. When a pregnant person tell you to need something, you have to get it. <laughs> Years ago, I had a friend, and I used to make black pudding sauce. I had made black pudding sauce. It was a Saturday, and I had some friends over. So she had asked me, can I bring her some black? She was pregnant. And she asked me, can I bring her some black pudding sauce when it was done? And I said, yes. But by the time I finished with black pudding sauce, and I had friends over, I was so tired. And I just did not have the energy to drive over to her to take the black pudding sauce. She was upset because she was really looking forward to the black pudding sauce. And I didn't realize how much she was looking forward to it because she didn't call me back. But I had prom I knew I had made that promise. Then when her baby was born, around the baby's neck was very dark. So she accused me of the baby is like a, a mark the baby got because I didn't bring the black pudding for her so the baby ended up with that mark around the neck so every time she see me she said you're the cause of that because I really want that black pudding you didn't bring it and I guess you rub her neck or something like that and then the baby come up with a with black mark all around his neck so she blamed me for that so anytime a pregnant person tell me to want something I have to get it Okay guys, so you see the texture of that now? See what that looks like? I'm just gonna put a little more flour to it cause still, it's still a little bit light. Okay? And then what my grandmother would do when my grandmother made the fish cakes is she would test like one or two first to make sure that it tastes just right before she made the whole batch. So if you make it, don't make the whole batch and then realize, oh my God, it don't taste good. You make like one or two, you taste it, and if it tastes just right, then you go ahead and make the rest, okay? So I think this is about good. Look at that. See how that look? That's good. It's good! My nephew is here. He just got here with his wife and his little baby. Can I see? Can I have him? Can you come over here? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, bring the baby, bring him. He's, he's gonna be starting the show. Oh, you're spoiling. Guys, look who I have here. This is not Camden today. This is another uh, little baby. This is my little nephew. He's my nephew. Oh, my, he's my nephew. My great nephew. He just Don't came. Don't age yourself. Don't age yourself. Just leave it <laughs> My nephew, this is my nephew Jamal. He just drove down from Atlanta all the way to see his auntie. <laughs> all the way to see his auntie. And this is his question. Look how happy he is, smiling. Look at that. Hey, handsome. Look, got a lot of hair just like his daddy. Hi. Hello. Yes. He came all the way to visit me to get some of my fish cakes, right? Are you going to eat fish cakes? Huh? I just put a little pepper in there. That's it. You ready, buddy? <laughs> okay, let me go back so I can start frying these things in here. Okay, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye, -bye. Say bye, -bye. Say bye to the camera. Bye -bye. Ah, see, he's giving you guys a smile. Look at that look. No, he, he wants something to trouble. <laughs> go to daddy. Bye -bye. Okay. So let's start Franny's fish cakes, guys. We have babies in the house. Test your oil first and make sure that your oil is hot. You can drop a little flour in there, a little bit of water in there, or you can just put your hand over there and you can feel the heat coming up in your hand. So I know it's hot enough. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna drop a couple in just to test them to see and I'm gonna let those two fry for a while and then when they're finished I'll taste them and see if I need to add anything else to it okay guys so <clears throat> now I tasted the two that was in here and they taste very good so we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and drop them and guys I dropped them small okay I don't drop them too big, but this is all up to you. And um, if you have entertaining, you have friends, this is more like a little hors d'oeuvre that you would drop. And this is kind of like one of our best favorite. You make these, and before they come out of the pan, they, they're gone. They're supposed to be eaten nice and hot. Okay? So I'm going to drop them here. And as I said, I'm dropping them small. And I'll give my nephew <clears throat> some of the batter that he could take with him and he can eat it when he wants. He can make some more when he wants to. So I'm not going to make all of this. This is a lot of batter here. But just enough that they can have some today before they go. This is it guys. This is how you make your fish cakes. We have any more room over there. And then you take your fork, you go ahead and you turn it. You turn them. That's my little baby over there that you're hearing, guys. And once you turn them, you'll see that you have more space in here where you can go ahead and drop some more. Go over there. Go over there. Okay, so I will go ahead and drop a few more in there. See if I have space. that's it guys so I'm gonna let these brown I'll keep turning them until they're nice and brown and then we'll take them out and put them on a paper towel to dry so now our fish cakes here as you can see they are done 
and normally if I take this out here I would put it on some paper towel to suck paper towel to suck up whatever grease that's left in there but I'm sorry but I run out of paper towel so can the old people when you don't got horse you're like cow <clears throat> but <clears throat> dear as you can see they're not greasy because once the oil is nice and hot and suck up the oil so it's good so you're gonna take these out and then you're gonna continue with the next batch and as I said, if you've got a lot of people in your house, as fast as you take these out of here, they're eaten. And I see a hand is just, just laying in there. See? And that's how it is, guys. You take them out and they are gone. Guys, fish cakes are all done. Here they are. Oh, guys, I am telling you, fish cakes are... They taste good, but they're time consuming. Now frying, especially if you fry them small, it takes took a little while. But my nephew came and his wife and they were able to get some fish cakes and they were able to take some with them. They drove in from Atlanta, so you know when you're driving, you're tired, exhausted. And now they have to go a bit to Orlando. So they were able to relax and have some fish cakes and, and take some with them. So now I I'm all done. And some of these are going to be for my brother-in-law. We're not going to eat these all here. And I'm going to give them away. But guys, this is how I do my fish cakes. And everyone loves my fish cakes. So now, guys, these are good if you're entertaining. You saw how I made the fish cakes, right? And if you're entertaining and you have friends coming over, you want to serve this. I am telling you, these fly off the plate just like that. They are really good. And what you do is you take your toothpicks and you just stick a toothpick inside of them like that. So when people come, instead of just grabbing it with a the hand, they just take it with a, with, a, um, with a toothpick like that. Okay, so that's what that's... Um, something that you can do when you're entertaining okay so i've already tasted a few of them they were so good i was crunching all, all along but i'm gonna go ahead and taste this here for you so i can tell you exactly what they taste like i make them small you can make them any size that you want to make them okay if you have a lot of people coming over you make them small that's good but you can make any size They're crunchy. Guys, this is delicious. It is delicious. You have to try making some fish cakes. If you've never had these before, go ahead, guys, and give it a try. They are delicious, and your friends or whoever come over to your house are going to love them. Guys, I have fun making these for my family and my friends i hope you have fun trying to make some as well don't forget to share like subscribe leave me a comment and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button guys and if you haven't subscribed already and you're watching the video go ahead and press that red subscribe button i have fun making these and i hope you have fun making some as well until next time bye bye